Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Neil is here. How's everyone going? Uh, Andy in the red corner. Great to have you on, mate. Uh, so, yeah, a week's gone past since FA Cup. We're back to league action now. I think we're all ready for league action. Uh, yeah. This is only a couple of games in November. So, touching briefly on Bolton game, Andy. I mean, a good win going, going via. You know, it's, it's always a always a nice place to go to Bolton like. So, uh, what, what's your take on that? Yeah. Um... Amazed with it to be honest. Um, I, I mean, I didn't go due to work and other stuff, uh, other rubbish stuff rather than football. But uh, yeah, amazing. Um, let's hope it just um, builds momentum now and mm. uh, takes us into the game tomorrow. Um, but yeah, amazing. Uh, proud of them. Um, proud of the team, proud of the club at minute. Are they? You know, um, went to bat at the business at Bolton. Really, really pleased. Yeah, I went to with my son and obviously a few, of, a few of his mates and that, and his gaffer saw Riddy Veer. And I think we being sit up, sat higher up at, at Bolton, you kind mm. of appreciate the work that went in, uh, yeah. structured. I mean, it were bad conditions for both sides because it was miserable. It was raining, damp, and everything like that. But at the end of the day. I was pleased that it was more or less a, a decent side, not as much thinking about like there is in uh, Pete's yeah. Trophy and Carabao as it was been previous. Yeah. Um, and I think testament to everybody was stuck at the task. It was a, an hard game. It always is at Bolton. You know what you're going to get. I mean, Bolton, we have the Island League. You, you know, Ian Everett, what he's going to be fetching to play tonight. Yeah. So, again, we move on from that. We've got Cruit next round at home. So, yeah. an home tie. That's going to be something to look forward to. Uh, yeah. I mean, there were a few people like saying, oh, we don't want to, you know, uh, same, you know, same like team in, in League One because it's like yeah. more like a league game, which I kind of get. But then yeah. for some upsets and also, I think at the end of the day, we just do his job and we just move on. All being well. I mean, again, carried away a bit like, but all being well, get into the next round for the third round and possibility mm. then. Uh, at a, a big, you know, bigger side, and it's yeah. income for club and all at the same time, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people are a bit disappointed with draw, um, but yeah, as he quite rightly said, um, we've got a good chance of progressing. You can never tell it cup, all mm. can happen. Mm. Um, I half wanted to see like a non league team at oh, well, but mm. then again, is that setting us up for a fall? Mm, <laughs> you know, mm. uh, a young young squad that we've got that have no doubt been TV cameras there as well. So we might have been setting the sends up uh, for that if we'd have got that. But uh, no, I think it's a good draw. Um, any draw at home, um, crew, um, league two, aren't they? Uh, yeah. in crew, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a good draw, good, um, good chance to progress. But like I say, you, you never know it, Cup. Um, it's well, it, it can be a, a flip of a coin unless you get like a big team and you know, uh, you've got you know, you're going to be up against it. But I think we've got a good chance now to progress, honestly. Do I'd like a good cup run as well? Mm. Um, mm. I know people says yeah, league uh, matters, but we won't be um putting our noses up against the cup run because it gets extra revenue, and mm. if we're winning. Uh, you know, yeah, it's mentality again in that mindset. So, yeah, uh, I'm I'm quite happy with that one. I'm oh, looking good. This on about we, you know, winning mentality. You know, as long as we're winning, it can only breed yeah. confidence. And like you, you touched on there just briefly about we young setup that we've got a great win. You know, for uh, Nick Eden's uh, setup, mm. uh, yeah. Jallo again proving what a star he is in, in making Andy. Yeah. Yeah, um, without a doubt, there's talent there. Um, you know, keeps getting that score sheet, uh, and it is, you know, up, seems to be always up bench at first team. Mm. I'm just a bit weary that. I mean, it is a big step up from under 18s into first team, um, and I don't think Duff will rush him. That's my only concern because, mm. uh, you know, it can, it can do more harm than good. That mm. one, I know. It, you know, if they're good enough, then they're old enough. Uh, I don't get that. And I've said before, people said, yeah, but Wayne Rooney started when he was more or less that age. But 
all due respect, he had world class players <laughs> side of him. Um, which you look at oh, how many other players have done it at that ilk as well, yeah, it's very few yeah. far between, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, I, I personally think keep as he is at minute, uh, steadily fetch him in, but mm. I just want us to rush him and uh, mm. uh, how can I put it just affect his confidence. Um, he's a young lad, he's got loads of time in front of him, um, and yeah, just. Like I said, just steadily do it, baby steps, and I think we've got a really, really good player there. Uh, honestly, do it's like yeah, I agree with that. It's like you don't want to burn him out. You look at no. you, what you're wanting is an actual steady progression, which I think Duff will. Um, yeah, communication, and this is what I'm liking with the setup, not just on the pitch but off it as well. You look at Nicky Eden, Bobby Assel, mm. Martin Devaney, yeah. Patterson. I think they're, they're all in it. It's like the training style as well. Uh, they're all in communication. You can see the progression. And you know as well as I do, Andy, when, you know, when players have played well in the, we call it Pete's Trophy, but Papadon's Trophy, you look at uh, Laresh, he scored. He's been involved yeah. more or less. Jallo, Martin, they scored at Donny away. They've been more or less in fringe. So, again, yeah. I think Duff highlights and sees it as if it's like a reward. You, if, if you've seen you do it, consistently and stuff like that, it can only be better. And I think it's a good yeah. message to send out for the rest of the youngsters via the, look, progression's via, but we're not going to be rushing. said, so, you know, you're going to go straight in. It's a steady progression. It's a plan, isn't it? It's a plan. Yeah, exactly. I think sometimes as well, you know, uh, we're under 18s. Um, there's other good players there as well. And I think sometimes mm -hmm. it, it takes a bit of limelight away from them. Um, you know, I think like, me as a player, yeah. I'd like that because I'd be thinking I'm just under the radar, but I know I'm doing my business like Will Lancaster, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, other players going out on loan as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah great, great players uh, for mm. the age. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it always seems to take like limelight away from them, but mm. uh, yeah, he's got other good players around him. And that makes Dyer, a young Dyer as well. You've got, you know, there's yeah, and like I said, there's some players here, and I get where you're coming from with that. Is that I think Jallo's like doing it a minute, Dyer's not far behind. But yeah. just like your Lancasters and that, uh, like yeah. just behind there is in the recognition what they're, they're getting or not getting in some cases. But back yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking that's a good thing because at least they're going to just get on with a job, just get on exactly. with it and, and yeah. you know, be a star kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, going on to the Shrewsbury Town game, I mean, it's, it is preview for that. Uh, sorry if it took up a couple of minutes, but it's just a natural progression uh, from weekend to, you know, all the way through. Not just the first team, but the uh, rest of the setup at Barnsley. Yeah. So going on to Shrewsbury Town, uh, it were interesting to hear Andy. We were just talking off air about this. The Steve Cottrell's at Shrewsbury, and yeah. the story that I heard on Radio Sheffield when Duff got interviewed, and I've heard a, a similar story before. We uh, how much Cottrell had helped and uh, guided Duff at Cheltenham and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So a bit, a bit of a nice story there, and but like what Duff said. Sentiments aside, it's going to be a you know a job to do against Shrewsbury. Oh, and yeah. he, he, I mean, I was surprised with the iron table to be fair, no disrespect to any yeah. Shrewsbury Town fans, but your 10th league and just a point off us. And again, I think that's testament to Steve Cottrell. He's been there and done that, he's well the art kind of thing, hasn't he, Andy? Yeah, it's a strange team, Shrewsbury. Um, like I said to you off air, I didn't even know you what manager. If I'm mm. honest with you, mm. um, yeah, they just seem to go under the radar, and I didn't know they were that high in league. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know much about Shrewsbury. Um, last time I was here um, at Shrewsbury, it was midweek game. It must have been in late eighties, um, and I think they had a, a, a really young striker. I think he was called Griffiths. I think I think he was about the same as Griffiths. Uh, Jallo. Mm. Um, mm. I, I remember that. Um, but yeah, that's last time I went to Old uh, Gay Meadow. Yeah, uh, that yeah. was. Um, but yeah, I don't really know much about shoes, but, but, but it looked like they, um, you know, a well organized team. Well, they've got to be if they're in, in tall ten. Side, yeah, very tall stride, yeah. uh, well structured with system yeah. and what Cottrell, you know, more or less instilled into them. I think, um, I mean, I was looking at work, to be honest, um, this morning uh, about Shrewsbury. And I think they've got a few loan players. So it looks like mm. they use loan system uh, really well. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's something that we need to <laughs> look at. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough game. 
uh, tomorrow, uh, especially against uh, Steve Cottrell's side. Um, they'll be well set up, definitely. I look at it as the the no disrespect to anybody watching this, uh, and if uh, Duff is watching this, it's not a disrespectful comment what I'm saying, but I look at it as a. The, the teacher against the pupil, if you know what I mean, is in yeah. where Steve Cottrell has done that and his help. Well, not help Duff. Duff's had to still do his own business and implement things on, on the pitch. But yeah. again, it's like when you look up to someone and you you learn and listen and, and take on board and you implement your own things. And I see it as a. I think it's going to be a, a tough, tight game. This one, it uh, is. like what you said, Steve Cottrell. They'll, they'll be well organised and be well disciplined and well. Clued up on how, how we are playing. If I know Steve Cottrell, yeah. you look at clubs where he's been. I mean, he's had quite a few clubs. And Duff's alluded to that, as in, it's not just going to be a given to go to Shrewsbury and turn up, rock up, three points and come back. It's, just, it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Mm. And people like what you said a bit earlier, would probably be surprised with Shrewsbury Island League, uh, 10th, only point behind us, because it's one of them. Yeah. And then it's Shrewsbury Town fans, you know, I'm not being disrespectful. If that were me, I'd, I'd be like that as well. You just do your business and go under the radar, and before you know where you yeah. are, you're not a million miles of a playoff. No, it's it's not bad to be under the radar. I mean, mm. our fun that uh, when we were in championship last season, you know, uh, mm. when I went, used to talk to uh, other people who used to follow other clubs, and there was, oh, yeah, League One. It's like, well, no, not yet, but we're, you know, we're, we're close mm. to being League One, mm. uh, so. It's not a bad thing being under the radar, but yeah, it's no disrespect to him. I, I just don't know much about him, and yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't even know there were that high. Mm. Um, so you know, they, they must be buzzing as well. Um, they must have the sights uh, set further up as well. Um, so yeah, all credit to him. He's, like I yeah. say, it's going to be a tough game. Mm. I mean, going on that, man, uh, Andy, I mean, yeah. going to be showed the game, I don't like I said, it's a traditional ground, which I, I love these tradi- traditional yeah. grounds, especially when you haven't been to them for a while as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, going into that, I mean, would you be making, I've I've not really learned or I've, what I've heard and read, I, I don't think there's any fresh injury concerns. I know, obviously, Thomas is still out and Matty Wolf, mm-hmm. Norwood is out. Would you be making any changes from a Bolton side going into this game? Um, it, it, see, I've said before, I'm finding it hard me to pick team because um, there's, there's always one or two changes anyway. Um, I think I think Collins for me. I think the only change I can see is Collins coming in for Walton. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, league and and uh, yeah. games. But apart I from that. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't think so. No, I don't. I, I, I don't. Connell will start. I don't. You know. Mm. I, I don't. I think. Teddy, I'd to... like to see him start again. I think it, his work rate, what he was putting in against Bolton, he was really putting yeah. his son about. Really putting. He his needs son a about. goal, him, doesn't he? He just yeah. needs a goal. Yeah. Well, it, even if it comes off uh, his backside, he, he just, just needs a goal. Well, if I'm being honest, Andy, I thought when Cross came in from Cadden, it was a wicked cross when it came in. Mm-hmm. I thought you were in slow motion, and I actually thought that Teddy should have got it because you were, were being in the area because you were running right. for channels and a uh, call. And then when it came yeah. up and on goal, I'm thinking, oh, chuffy now. I wanted it <laughs> I'm so much like it, Donny. I wanted so much for him to just get that like say, just get yeah, just put it yeah. back at net. And yeah, I think it's a relieve a bit of pressure from him because he is putting his son about, he yeah. is making it awkward for you know. Uh, the opposition defenders, I'm thinking, yeah, just get a, a deflection, just get a, a scuff shot, let it get in, yeah. and well, it's fair. It's got to be playing on his mind because I, I don't mm. think he scored for. I think it would for any well, striker, wouldn't it? Like really, wouldn't it? He'd yeah, throw a barren spell. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he, you know, he, he, like you just said, his his work rate, you can't fault. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, you know, I wouldn't have any qualms about starting him. Mm. Uh, with, no, him and. Cole, uh, probably, um, good partnership. But like I say, um, we start in 11, uh, when I keep predicting my team, uh, I always get it wrong. <laughs> there always <laughs> seems to be a few curveballs in there, what Duff uh, puts in. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, I, I, yeah, like I say, I'd like to see Connell start. And, mm. yeah, I, I won't mind Terich starting as well. Yeah. I, I, what is it as well, we, some fans, I've noticed, some fans don't like Edwards. Now, I, I don't know if it's me or not, but 
I'm seeing a different player to what I others think, are seeing. I think I think he's a solid player, mate. For I don't me, get it. Edwards, when we were playing at right wing back, I thought we were getting fan out of position a lot. Yeah. I think since he's gone in back three, because he's been yeah. playing Edwards, Anderson and uh, Kitchen, I think he's looked a, a more solid and structured player. And mm. I think with Williams coming in on that right side, for, for me, Williams, when he comes in on right side, you've got that pace and that uh, yeah. speed in his veer. And I yeah. think with Edwards, when he's been playing veer, yeah, he can get forward, but it's for getting back part that's like yeah. um, vulnerable. And I think that's what's done it. Uh, for yeah. me, I mean, I'd like to hear uh, you know comments from below from other people. What your take on this? But I, I picked up and not and not just Edwards as well. Uh, 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 quite a bit with Cadden as well. But recently, mm-hmm. in last uh, game or two, he has started to show. I mean, you know what he can do with, with, with yeah. the deliveries, and again, it's like tracking back. But yeah, uh, for me, I get where you're coming from, with Ed, uh, uh, Edwards, because. He came in and it was oh he don't, he's not doing this, but I think for me his his Fanny's position at centre back and the amount of times we've got Bolton offside, so it's been worked yeah. on, and I think they're all that understanding now. Whether I mean this might be one I've changed. It's a good one what you mentioned here. Whether the shoes being a bit taller side, whether he's going to go with Cundy at back instead of Edwards, I don't know. Mm, um, yeah, possible. Yeah, but. Mm. I think if we're on about confidence and we're winning and we're putting in performance, I'd like to see that because I know Cundy did come on in the uh, second half against Bolton. But yeah. for me, I think keep it as I uh, sorry keep it as is. Apart from Collins coming in for Walton, uh, and uh, I'd keep rest it side because I think Benson, uh, Kane, and Luke Connell. Uh, sorry, Kane Phillips because he scored uh, a yeah. decent goal just on outside. All them linked up well. I think Tedich and Cole were running into channels of bustling and bustling, and the defence looked solid as a structure. So for me, yeah, I'd keep it as is for going into it. And I'm saying, ooh, it's going to be a tight one, this. I, I think it's going to be too... Hmm, looking at, I mean, a bit of indifferent form, a bit like us. I'm looking at Shrewsbury. One, one, two, drawn two. Uh, sorry, one, two, lost two. Drawn the previous two, and you look at us with one loss drawn, lost, lost one. Um, I want to go for Barnes to win two one. Right. Uh, I just think that again, if we start at the same tempo like we did against Bolton, and we are organised and structured, I'm going to go two one Barnsley. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think I'll, there's going to be many goals like yourself. Uh, I think it's going to be tight. Um. I'm going to go for a sneaky 1-0 win to Reds. Mm, no, no, and, no. Yeah, Tedich. Mm. Uh, Edda from a corner. Oh, yeah, put Kissy Def on that. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll take that. We'll take that and yeah. all. I mean, I think all, all Barnsley fans will, especially a bit travel and journey as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a travel away. And then I think it's MK, Dons, and then the FA Cup. So, again... Yeah. And then there's like obviously uh, Papa John's draw later, so that'll be interesting to see as well. So we've gone oh, from yeah, two league games that. to two league games to FA Cup games in month, so a bit of football yeah. for us anyway. Bit yeah, of football for us. So yeah, I forgot about that draw, for Papa John's. Yeah, yeah that that'll be interesting. See who we get. Mm. Uh, yeah. So yeah, keep it going. Bolton. We're firing. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Smelled on that. If if that if that's the case, I'm definitely putting my lottery ticket on for tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. You couldn't make it up back, could you? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So great. Uh Andy, it's always been a pleasure to get your thoughts uh Anytime. about the game coming up. People what's watching, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I want to give a shout out as well to uh the crack teapot uh new sponsor. Uh it's straight across from Bus Station. We're opening up on Wednesday. Please give me a check out. We're doing, I think, let me get this right. I've got a post. I'm going to put it up every Saturday in December up until Christmas Eve. We're doing a Eat With Santa for kids, for youngsters. I think it's from half nine or half 11, I think. Uh, and again, it's for youngsters. You're, you, you know, you've got parents and that. You can call in, uh, take young ones. They can ever eat and meet Santa as well. Uh, so that'd be interesting for, uh, for youngsters for Christmas. So, yeah, thanks for the crack teapot as well. Please like, subscribe and share. I've always said that. 
let, uh, let leave your comments below. Let us know what your thoughts. Andy's going for a, a cheeky 1 0 win, Tedich. I'm going to 2 1. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. We all know that. But keep the momentum going and let's keep yeah. the uh, belief going as well. One thing left to say you Reds. You Reds. Thank <music> you.